hello friends welcome to it boys solutions today we will learn about how to install zabbix client on a machine and how to connect it to the zabbix server okay this is the task for today how to install zabbix client on a machine and connect it to the zabbix server okay so as usual keep it aside come back to the client machine so basically what is the client machine client machine is that where your website is running or where your product is running so we need to monitor that server okay so first of all just follow these uh, steps you will be done for it so i will post these steps in my description of this video first of all just go to the sudo user we are already in sudo user but this is the command okay after this run a command will that will update it okay apt hyphen get update okay after this we will add zabbix repo my system os is ubuntu okay so this is the link where you can find the respective repository for your operating system okay this will not uh, work for all the operating systems so you just have to download your respective repository from this url so in in this case if you are uh, running with ubuntu 16 then you can install uh, with the help of below link okay just go with this this is the same package we used it for the to install zabbix server okay just install this debian package and run once again update command now we will install zabbix client so the command is apt get install zabbix iphone client zabbix hyphen i just uh, press tab okay so it's agent right it's not a it's not client it's agent okay we will change here in our description list so this is agent okay so we are done with this after you install this uh, configuration file will be created by zabbix agent at location etc zabbix zabbix underscore agent dot conf this is configuration file for your zabbix agent or you can say that zabbix client okay we have to change the following parameter in this file first one is server server active and host name okay uh, let's open this file then i will explain what these values are server means you have to give ip address of your zabbix server where your zabbix server is installed uh, what is the meaning of this 127.0.0.1 is that if your zabbix server is on the same machine where you want to try where you want to install your zabbix client okay you can say that it is localhost okay so we are uh, we will gonna open this file and uh, we'll do some changes according to our need first of all i will search and uh, rep find about this where is this parameter okay just press n yes there it is so what i will do i will replace this ip with my zapix server ip uh, i taught you how to install zabbix server in my last video so you can go through that video if you don't uh, watch that till now okay so we will enter the public ip of my zabbix server so this is my zabbix this is my client so ip of my zabbix is this okay so i just paste it here and uh, after this server active in server active we we need to paste the same ip address of our server okay just paste it okay after that uh, 
the main part is host name so about host name what is host name uh, it will represent your machine in zebex console so you have to remind this name what you will enter this for example this server is of my uh, you can say that product one okay this is my product one means i am using this server for my product one okay product one so please uh, remind this name remember this uh, you will need it again okay you can save the file okay after this you have to add the client on the zebex server for that you have to just go follow these simple steps i will just let you know first of all we will create uh, we will start the service of zebex agent okay it is c in it dot d zabex agent start okay yeah this is working fine and let me add this command in the documentation this one okay now go to zabex console okay here is our zabex console uh, I will go to the home page okay so what is saying you can come here go to Zebex console then click configuration then click host then click create host okay where is configuration yes configuration where is host yes host and the last one create host okay then now enter the following details host name so friends host name is that uh, which we entered in our file where is that file vim this one okay so the host name should be same same with which entry this one product one okay so this product one will be goes here and you can type same if you want and uh, visible name is done select group so you can group multiple type of servers if you want that you have uh, you are working with lots of websites so you just can create a group with website uh, to provide the name here in this field like uh, uh, website okay and if you want to separate groups using these types of groups name like linux server then click on the group and do this click so now this product one host will come under this uh, group okay and the main thing here we need to enter the ip this agent ip okay so what is our agent ip agent ip is this one client description this is my agent IP okay I just entered it okay okay just go to the eight step now look at the top left click on the template okay top left is this and template okay type Linux in the below text box okay as my machine is Linux so I will type a uh, Linux okay it will show result like template OS Linux okay yeah it was showing like this template OS Linux right click on add button just below to it okay we have to add button so we have to just click on just below it okay then now and your host will be added in the Zabbix server okay I think we need to click once one more time okay okay we can go back to host and click add so now our host will be added in our hosts okay and your host will be added in the Zavik server and it will show alerts like disk CPU load but it should be in template okay we have selected that template 
I will maximize it because we don't have some further steps here. Okay, I will maximize this browser. Okay, so you can see that a Zabbix server is itself there and a uh, agent is there which we added just right now. So you can see its graphs as well. If you can click on graph, uh, CPU utilizations and all that. Okay, so first of all, go to monitoring graph and uh, not Zabbix server Linux server. This is group name. You can uh, verify here. And in Linux server, we added product one. Okay, and graph we want to see is uh, CPU utilization. Okay, five minute. So you just uh, in we just install our Zabbix client right now. So it it, uh, it will take some time to get. Uh, communicate with server and it, then it will show our everything at our console zabbix server console so here you can see that zabbix server is another group and linux server is another group and in linux server we have this agent okay okay friends this is all about how to install zabbix client on uh, on a linux machine and how we can connect it to with uh, zabbix server okay and uh, this is last 20 issues here you will find all the issues okay and uh, this is client right and uh, okay uh, this video will be uh, long enough if I uh, show you something else. So, uh, hope you will like this video. And if you if if you like this video, then you will share with your friends. Okay. And uh, in my next video, I will uh, sh teach you that how you can create email alert on your Zabbix, so that if whenever alert comes, then it will notify to your email. Okay. So. Thanks for today for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you can. I will not force because I am just doing this because it's my passion. I want to learn something. I want to teach something. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, friends. And uh, yes, uh, before ending this video, I will show you there is a warning. Warning of what? Lack of free swap space on product one. Means I didn't create any swap area here. If you want to see, then I can show you. There is not any swap partition, right? So that's why your uh, Zabbix server alert you that there is lack of free swap space. So how uh, long ago it happened? It happened 46 seconds ago. So what the email notification will do? Email notification will send this alert to your desired email where you want to receive it. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Please like if you think it's a good for you okay bye bye